Um, it was a great uh, first year for me, and luckily in Washington, I was in a great position room and surrounded by a lot of great guys who were older. We've got five to ten year vets, and so from that standpoint, they kind of took me under their wing, taught me everything they know on and off the field, so I really enjoyed it. How much did you talk with Tyler through y'all's rookie, rookie year? Uh, we talked all the time, especially when... We went over there to Dallas and they came up and we'd be talking the night before. And so I'm so proud of him and everything he's done in his first year. And he's been an absolute tremendous player for them. So, yeah. What about Washington, D.C.? Mm. Just living in Washington, D.C. And I, I, I understand that you, you know, I think there's a lot of TU alums there that you probably got to know. Mm -hmm. Just talk about your experience there. Man. Even within that first week of arriving, uh, TU's president, Brad Carson, invited me to his house over there for an alumni event. And so I got to instantly get plugged in. And so that was a really nice, heartwarming welcome to the city from that standpoint. And I love DC and anybody who hasn't been, I highly recommend going, not just for the monuments or the history, but it truly is a great, diverse, bustling area. Do you miss DT? I miss DT <laughs> so dearly and, you know, <laughs> he just, he changed my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have one. No, you, camera's off. Cut it, cut it, cut it short. Cut it off. Um, no, any new songs on the horizon? Or is that under wraps? I will uh, pivot that question okay, to um, the resonant sound executive producer, Corey Taylor. Corey Taylor. Can we Corey Taylor? That's who yeah. I'll pivot that question to. But do be on the lookout, you know. Um, you know, there's always something on the horizon, whether I tell you or not. So. Anything else? Awesome. How does it feel to be the most favorite uh, Washington commander out of the 53 yeah. people on the team? You know, I really do take it as a, a grave honor. Um, you know, uh, not too many people can say that, you know, so I, I don't take it lightly at all.